How to get hard things done with less struggle. Let's face it, life is hard sometimes, and you will have to do some hard things at some point. We all have to face circumstances we really don't like. That is when we have to take action, even when all we really want to do is curl up in a small ball until the hard part is over with. What can make getting through these rough periods even more difficult is when we struggle even more than we really have to. Of course, when we're going through a tough time, we're usually feeling overwhelmed, scared, angry, vulnerable. Managing your emotions is essential if you are going to do something challenging. If we let these emotions get the best of us, we can create an even greater struggle for ourselves. Even when life isn't that challenging, getting to do hard things is usually a difficult task. The easy stuff is so, well, easy and usually a lot more fun. So we get that done first and then procrastinate with the harder stuff as long as we can. But what if we didn't have to ignore the hard stuff until we couldn't any longer? What if we had some tools in our bag to help us do hard things? And maybe do it by getting out of our own way while creating less of a struggle? Maybe we could even learn a thing or two to help us navigate our way out once and for all. So, here are my favorite ways to get hard things done with less struggle. Do it now. Yes, I know. Doing the hardest thing first is usually the last thing any of us want to do. However, it's a bit like taking off a bandage. We all know that if you try to pull off a bandage slowly, the pain seems worse and lasts longer. So most of us would rather just yank it off and be done with it. The same is true for hard tasks. Rather than waiting until the last minute, with the pressure mounting on you all day, just do it. Wake up in the morning and do hard things first, so they're out of the way. Not only will you feel better, in body, mind, and spirit, but think about how easy everything else will seem once you've got the hard stuff out of the way. Break the hard things down into manageable chunks. Everything is less hard when you break it down into small, manageable pieces. We often struggle when something seems so large, so huge, and scary in front of us. We become too overwhelmed to even begin identifying how to take the first step. We get caught up in the struggle. It can get us so stuck we end up taking no action at all. Instead, whatever hard thing you have to do, break it down into manageable steps. The smaller the steps, the less overwhelmed you'll feel and the more likely it is that you'll get through the hard part quicker than you would if you tried to do hard things all at once. Build a support system. Getting hard things done is nearly impossible when you're going it alone. If you are without a healthy support system, even simple tasks can sometimes feel more difficult. The struggle seems far greater than it does when you have a team of supporters surrounding you. With a support system, there are people you can rely on to help support you physically, emotionally, and or spiritually. Sometimes, that support system can also help you do hard things. Don't have a support team. Join a support group, find a therapist, call a friend, or be your own best support system. Deep down, you know you can do it. So keep telling yourself you're worth getting through these hard stages of life and support yourself the whole way through. In the end, we have to rely on ourselves first, anyway. So we might as well support ourselves 100% right now and always. It's also easier to build up a good support system if you are already your greatest supporter. In the end, we have to rely on ourselves first, anyway. So we might as well support ourselves 100% right now and always. It's also easier to build up a good support system if you are already your greatest supporter. It will ensure to attract others who will similarly support you. 
Discipline Hard things are hard for a reason. It's like dieting, you love pizza and chocolate, so eating a salad instead sometimes seems nearly impossible. This is where discipline will help you through the rough patches. You know what you want. So, to gain the desired outcome, develop some discipline to achieve it. If you want to be healthy, eat healthy as often as possible. Eating all the pizza and chocolate you want isn't a healthy choice. But if you incorporate discipline into your habits, you can actually still enjoy pizza and chocolate, just in smaller amounts. The discipline comes when you choose to eat 80 to 90% healthy foods and 10 to 20% pizza and chocolate. Then, you actually stick to it, even when it's hard and especially when it totally sucks. Discipline will ensure you reach your goal and do hard things, even when you feel like giving in to the struggle. Strive for best effort, not perfection. It's already hard enough to get certain things done. But when you add in the pressure of perfectionism, it's darn near impossible. If the fear of not being perfect is what's getting in your way of handling the hard stuff, you've got to strive for best effort rather than perfect. Best effort means you're doing the best you can, but you also expect some snafus might pop up along the way. The best effort also means you trust yourself to identify and correct those mistakes as they come up. Nothing in life is ever perfect. Mistakes are how you learn and grow. So get out of your own way and do your best in every moment. You're only human. The more you just get out there and do your best, the easier life will be, and you will do hard things with far less struggle. Be your own cheerleader. Not everyone has a great support system set in place. In fact, that's probably why things feel so hard for you lately. It's tough going when you're on your own. But that doesn't mean it's impossible. It certainly doesn't mean you're doomed to struggle forever. Mirror work is a great way to be your own cheerleader. So is leaving motivational notes around your home or workspace. Stand in front of your mirror before you do hard things. While looking yourself in the eye, tell yourself that you can do it. That you are worthy of having an easy outcome and that you're good enough, smart enough, and doggone it, everyone likes you. If talking to yourself feels too weird, Leaving motivational messages around your home and or office is also a great way to remind yourself that you can do it. Match your energy to the task. Doing hard things takes a lot of energy. Even if it's just calling up your boyfriend to dump him, it will take a fair amount of energy on your part, if you want to do it humanely. So make sure you track what times of day you feel most energetic and scheduled to do hard things during that time. There will be far less struggle if you're doing that hard task when you're at peak energy than if you choose to tackle the hard stuff when you're feeling drained. Practice, practice, practice. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? You practice. What do I do myself whenever I have something hard to deal with, like telling someone, no, especially because I'm a hardcore people pleaser? I practice what I want to say to them first. Perhaps you have to give a speech, and you hate public speaking. Wouldn't practice be helpful and make it so much easier? When you give yourself some time to go through the process in your head, out loud, or however you can do it, it makes the process that much easier when you're actually going through it. This will also eliminate much of the struggle when you do hard things, as practicing will show you where your current weak spots are. 